Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and this is the review of the D-Link AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 PCI Express adapter with Bluetooth 5.1. So let's get some of the technical specs out of the way. This is a PCI Express interface with F USB and two lots of RP-SMA connectors. There are two antennas. Wireless frequencies are 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. The security aspects of this device are the latest Wi-Fi security of 128-bit encryption as well as WEP 64 and 128-bit. Obviously using this sort of technology especially when it comes to Wi-Fi security, is pretty much the highest level of wireless security that you can use. So rest assured this is enterprise ready and for use in businesses, homes, wherever you want to use it. It's safe and secure and ready to go. Bluetooth 5.1 is also featured and this requires either Windows 10 64-bit or Linux. The physical dimensions are 121 by 79 by 25 millimeters which works out to be 4.76 by 3.11 by 0.98 inches. The total weight is approximately 87 grams or 3.07 ounces. The specific model number is DWA-X3000 and it is the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 PCIe adapter with Bluetooth 5.1. Just in case you want to Google it, compare prices in your area, and things like that. So what sort of advantages are there in using a PCIe adapter rather than just your standard dongle that you plug in and get Wi-Fi? Well with PCI Express you can actually get a high bandwidth connection which does actually offer superior performance over the traditional PCI interface. You can connect the AX3000 adapter to any PCI Express slot in your PC whether it's the X1, X4, X8 or X16 slot. When you open this box, you get a relatively simple contents package. So you've got the antennas, you've got the stand where the antennas fit onto, you've got the PCI Express adapter itself, and you also have the connector that connects the adapter to the motherboard. The base unit where the antennas screw onto also have cables out of them to go into the back of the adapter which basically allows the signal strength to be increased. There is really not much effort required when it comes to installing this device. You literally just take it out of the protective packaging that it comes with, you find your PCI Express slot, you make sure the back plate has been taken off, you slot the card into the PCI Express port on your motherboard and when you've done that you want to make sure that the power connection on the back of it is then connected to your motherboard. And to be honest, that's basically it. It's not supposed to be anything crazy complicated or have very intricate technicalities involved with it. You just take the device out of the box, plug it into the PCI Express slot, and then in theory, you're not always going to have this luck, but in theory, it's plug and play. So then you will notice that you'll be able to discover Wi-Fi networks, both 2.4 and 5, as well as connect your Bluetooth devices. It's just the same as any other Bluetooth device that you connect to your PC. You just go to the Bluetooth settings under the control panel, hit connect, and then whatever you're trying to connect to Bluetooth, it will connect to this adapter. To make sure it was working as best as possible, I used my Sony headphones that are wireless Bluetooth with the adapter and the sound quality of YouTube videos and Spotify was exactly the same as it would be with a wired connection or any other wireless adapter I've used in the past. So this just passes all the checks from something so simple that you need, plug into your PC, and it does what it says on the tin. As simple as that. What I found quite cool about this adapter was the wireless antenna that came with it. The reason for this is because it can basically stick onto your metal PC case because it's got a magnet in it. I mean, when you think about it, you kind of want the antenna to be in a position where it's easily reachable and also able to transmit the signal. And having it able to stick directly onto the side of your case like I've done here, is just a great thing for an antenna to be able to do. I think this is a standard way that antennas are now built, especially when it comes to PCIe, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth antenna, because it kind of just works 
magnets are cheap, you can stick it to the side of the case, and it looks pretty cool as well. It doesn't have to just be awkwardly hanging on your desk. Put it on the side of the case and get back to your internet browsing or using your Bluetooth devices. I didn't have to install any drivers. I didn't have to install any weird and wonderful software to get it going. Although there is some software that comes with it in the form of a CD, but unfortunately I don't have a CD-ROM drive. So I just improvised and just didn't install anything. Then I was able to just directly go to my Wi-Fi and connect to the Wi-Fi ID. There isn't a whole lot more to say about a wireless adapter because as soon as I plugged it in, I was getting 100 down and my usual upload. I was also able to quickly connect my Bluetooth Sony headphones without any issue and hear audio exactly how I would expect to. Being able to just add a device into your PC and suddenly give your once stationary machine that you had no intention of giving Wi-Fi to have Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth. It just adds an extra layer of usability to your machine and I appreciate it very much. And obviously because it's PCIe, the performance is gonna be a lot better than just the standard cheapy dongle. I think having the antenna on a magnet is a great idea. However, it just looks a bit 1990-ish rather than 2020. The antennas are functional, don't get me wrong. It's not a functional issue. It just looks a bit old school. That's all. But other than that, if you need yourself a budget-friendly Wi-Fi adapter that happens to come with Bluetooth as well, then please don't look past the D-Link AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 PCIe adapter with Bluetooth 5.1. Normally with these reviews, I would go into the positives and the negatives, and I would go into in-depth detail about the various different options here and there. But because this is a device you plug into your motherboard, you give it power, you connect it to your Wi-Fi, and you carry on as you were, I think the length of this video just about sums up how easy it is to set up and get going and there's no explanation or real in-depth review needed and that's a testament to the technology that's featured in this box. If you have any questions about this device or I just want to give your overall opinion, please leave it as a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with the review of the D-Link AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 adapter.